Hey, it's Hattie Keen. This is my exclusive interview for Mark Meets. We're backstage here at Sundown 2014, and I have bumped into Hattie Keen. Welcome to Sundown. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm great. Just come off stage. Still got the, my energy. It's about to probably go down, but... They're still buzzing at the moment, though. Still buzzing at the moment, so... Red so is this your first festival summer, second where, whereabouts are you? Well, I actually played here two years ago. Okay. This was at the, I've been around for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, like at the beginning, and I was I opened it, and obviously it's getting bigger and bigger each year, so I'm like super excited that I'm here again. And yeah, no, I love it here. It's amazing. You got the, you got the other uh, the northern accent, so you've obviously come a long way today. Then actually, I haven't. I came from Essex today, oh, but too bad. my accent is let's have a go. I'm going Manchester. Manchester. Ah, yeah. see, I'm a good <laughs> so now we're here. We've got to talk about the outfit. So. Um, Where's the inspiration for this come from? Well, when I'm on stage, like, I'm, I'm a character. I want to be a diva. I need to move around, be sexy as well. And katsu is always what I want to wear. It's like, you can do everything in it, <laughs> and it still looks good. And what happened was, you're going to laugh now, um, I have, like, a lot of brand partners, a lot of people that supply me with clothes, but no one had a katsu. And I was like, do you know what? I need to wear one, so I was like, here, here it is. It's from eBay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't have known that. Yeah. Well, I actually <laughs> caught some of your set earlier, having a little listen. One of your songs was based about, what was it, cocky guys, arrogant guys. Yeah. Now, are we talking from personal experience here, or where has this inspiration come from? Well, yeah, a little bit. I mean, like, I don't really, when I go out, I hang, just want to... Hang on a second, hang on a second, because I'm looking good. I'm looking good. Hang on, yeah. Oh, sorry. Go. Oh. <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt you there. Sorry, when I go out, um, sometimes you just want to like dance with your friends. Like you want to you want to do sexy dancing, but it's not for the guy. And sometimes guys are like trying to chat you up all the time, and you're like, do you know what? Just chill. But Here you know, the girls, I want to yeah, have some fun. And, and as well, like it's also appreciation. Like girls are hot, girls look good, and you know, everyone knows that girls can agree with that and sing about these boys being silly, and boys can be like, yeah, that's me. You know. <laughs> We're not all like that. We are pretty much all like that. But um, what's the plans for the rest of the year then for you? Um, we've got, well, singles out today, Girls is out today. And then we're focusing on the next track, I know it seems soon, but Girls was pretty much to keep my hungry fans satisfied. And um, <laughs> the next one's one we're gonna put the big push behind, pull, pull it, push it, record it in LA. And um, yeah, it's gonna catch people's attention, get that radio play that we need. And um, yeah, then we're focusing on the album to come out next year. And so we're looking at next year for the album then, are we? Yes, big thing. And also moving forward, is there any one out there at the moment who, if you could work with anybody, who would that be? Tough question. It is tough, actually. Well, I'm a big fan of girl power, so it has to be somebody, probably Nicki Minaj, you know, Anaconda just came out. Did you see that video? I think every guy's seen that video. <laughs> It's a good video. So, yeah, I like so that's it. the ultimate dream then, is it? Yeah, I think so. Definitely girl power. Iggy Azalea as well is doing really good. Yeah. Well, thank you for spending a little bit of time with us today. Good luck for the rest of the year.